So we need to graph that equation. And we got our graph, the slope. I don't know if we talked about this, but I will now, okay? Uh, we're not finding the slope. We just got to know if it's positive or negative, which is great. So let's focus on creating some of our ordered pairs first. Not all of them will fit on the graph. We know that because the y is 7, and the y only goes up to 5 right here. All right, so let's find these other points. Uh, let me zoom in. So this is our equation. y equals negative 3x minus 2. And the first value we have here is an x value. So I'm going to replace x with that value, which is negative 3. And negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So y equals 9 minus 2. So see how we're solving for y? That's, that's the value that we're going to put in the box there. So 9 minus 2 is 7. So when x is negative 3, y is 7, which gives us this ordered pair, which will not fit on the graph. Whatever. So, well, if that's the case, then we should get the same thing on this next part. Yeah, if we solve this one, we're going to get the same thing, and we know that because we already found when y is 7, and that's okay. So we just know it's going to be negative 3. We can solve it, though. So there we go on that one. All right, let's try when x is negative 2, then. So we got y equals negative 3x minus 2. Again, we're replacing the x with negative 2. So three, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. y equals 6 minus 2. And so y equals 4. Well, that will fit on the graph. That's nice. The next one, we have y is negative 5. So y equals negative 3x minus 2. But y is negative 5. So I'll add 2 to both sides. And I got negative 3 equals negative 3x. Divide both sides by negative 3. And my x is 1. This last one should be pretty easy. y equals negative 3x minus 2. But x is 0. And anything times 0 is 0. So y equals 0 minus 2. And the y value would be negative 2. Question. All right, on this one, we have the point. Uh, these two points won't fit on there, the negative 3, 7. And that's okay, because all the other ones will. So negative 2 and 4 would be this point here. And then we got 1, negative 5, right here. And the other point we have is 0, negative 2. So those are the three points. To graph this thing, we're just going to draw a line through the three points like this, and that's good. So when it's asking for the slope there, it's just asking if it's positive or negative. And right here we can see, since it's going down from left to right, right, if, if you were to stand on this thing right here, you'd slide down this way, to the right specifically. So we would say that it has a negative negative slope. I think that's how you spell negative. Yeah, if we had a positive slope, so if this is our axis like this. Would it just be on the right-hand side? Yeah, it would be going up oh, like okay, this. Like so now if you're standing on it, you'd have to climb okay. like stairs. And I hate stairs. <laughs> <laughs>